Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did work earlier today, I just worked a breaker shift though, and then I um, was getting ready to see my boyfriend, and then we just ended up staying in at my mom's house, which is obviously where I live, which is right here. So, um, I did get ready and put on a darker lipstick to go out with him, like go out to dinner, but then we ended up just staying here because one, my mom offered for us to stay and make dinner, and two, I just kind of decided it was too cold to go out because my boyfriend said it was like 15 degrees when I came, when he came inside and I was like, okay, maybe we should just stay here. So we decided to stay in. So I'm sorry if like my makeup's bothering me, but it looks fine from here. But anyway, um, yeah, so I didn't really, I just, I don't know why my blush looks like that. Whatever, I'm taking it off now anyway. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water and the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I did notice that my um, makeup lasted a lot better today. I guess the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer helped too, but when I was done applying, I did notice that my makeup looked very glowy just like it does when I use the, um, the uh, Smashbox regular primer. So I've been trying to experiment with other primers to see which one really is the best. And I keep on going back to the Smashbox primer, but I guess this primer combo works too. Also like it sucks like with like a primer like you really have to make sure your skin is ready for makeup. Like since I wear makeup like almost every day, um my skin has to be ready for it. So sometimes it's not. So but I changed my sheets recently. Hopefully that'll help with breakouts and stuff like that. So hopefully I won't break out again tonight. So yeah, um, I've just been breaking out in certain spots on my face. Then I went in with the YSL Touche Clot B10 Beige Foundation again and the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Becca Strumming Skin Perfector in Moonstone. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light and the MAC Prep and Prime and Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Shadow Base. And then I went in with all Makeup Geek Shadows today because I haven't used Makeup Geek Shadows in a while in just one look. So I was like, I need to go back and use them because I've been missing using them a lot. So um, I decided to go in with about six or seven shades today. Um, of course I went in with Beaches and Cream first. Then I went in with Creme Brulee which is like my favorite crease shade. Then I went in with Frappe and Coco Bear on the actual crease, and then I went in with Mocha and a little bit of Bitten on the outer corners. And then I went in with Grandstand on the lid, the Foiled Shadow and Grandstand. But honestly, I don't know if this MAC primer is really helping it not transfer because I found, as you can see, it's pretty much transferred like crazy. There's not really too much lid color left. I mean... That might be contributing to me getting my contacts wet while I was doing my makeup because somehow something got in my eye while I was doing it and I had to um, clean my eye again so it ended up getting wet so I had to reapply it again. But it still doesn't really stay on the lid so I don't really know if it's just that or if it's the primer. I don't know. But Kathleen Lights claimed that this primer keeps your foiled shadows on without transferring and I've just noticed that they've been transferring like crazy. I don't know if it's the primer. I just don't I just think it's the actual, actual shadows. I don't think it's the actual primer that has anything to do with it cuz I just maybe have to stop stop setting it with a powder cuz I have dry skin, but I just like how a powder overlays over um a primer. I just think it gives it a nice look. But we'll see. Um, then I went in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone, then I lined my eyes with the Cat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper, then I primed my lashes with the Lancome Primer and then went over them with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Honestly, my lashes have been so limp lately, I don't know what it is. If you guys can recommend a good, um, mascara, please let me know. I just feel like maybe my mascaras are drying out way too fast because I feel like the L'Oreal Telescopic isn't really helping my lashes anymore either. So maybe I have to look at the expiration dates on the L'Oreal Telescopic and stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I did use it on the top and the bottom just because I was being lazy this morning and didn't feel like using both um, the MAC Extended Play Kick Black Lash and the L'Oreal Telescopic. I just felt like using one. Then I highlighted my inner corners with Makeup Geek Starry Eyed and Mad 
um, and in the spotlight just to add a little bit more peachiness rather than the like off white color. It's not really, I don't really know how to describe Starry Eyes. It's just gorgeous. Then I concealed and highlighted it under my eyes with the Bare Metals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in Light and the MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I went in with the, is that it for eyes? Yeah. Then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Junior Filter with the darker shade and then baked it with the lighter shade and then I went in with a favorite blush of mine that I haven't used in a little while that I don't know why I stopped using it because it is so gorgeous. I went in with the Becca Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. It's still one of my all-time, it is my all-time favorite. I just love it. So then I highlighted with Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle again. I'm just kind of obsessed with this highlight right now. It is just so friggin' gorgeous. Like, do you see how much highlight it gives? It's so beautiful. I love this highlight. It's one of my, like, top favorites right now. And then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. I did use that highlighter a couple of days ago, and I was just, I mean, yesterday, and I loved it so much that I decided to use it again today. Um, I was thinking about Champagne Pop, but I wanted to go in with, uh... This is still bothering me. I don't know why it's like that. It just looks like a line of blush here, but it probably doesn't look like that in person. Then, of course, I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And then I primed my lips with the Urban Decay Glide On Sign On 24 Hour Pencil and Ozone because I couldn't find the Bite Beauty one earlier. Um, then I... Um, prime filled in my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Taurus because I didn't, I was just rushing and I didn't really care what lip liner I used and then I filled them in with ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Tool. I still love this color so much. It is so beautiful. From the first batch, the darker colors are so much better. Even though people say Lax sucks, um, Tool and what's the other color? Tool and Chili Chili are absolutely amazing. Chili's from the new batch, but Tool is one of the best ones. Like, absolutely amazing. Um, I haven't worn it in a while, so I really wanted to wear it tonight. It's just so perfect, right? It's, like, such a beautiful color. Um, but I only wore it in the house, but whatever. Like, obviously, I wouldn't wear this if my boyfriend wasn't here, but whatever. Um, and then earlier today when I worked, I wore um, the Aquarius ColourPop Lip Liner and the, uh, the lippy stick, and then the Aquarius lippy pen. I wore the Aquarius lippy pencil with the Aquarius lippy stick from Kathleen Lights because that's only the second time I've worn those. And now I'm going to take my makeup off and relax because it's only 9 o'clock, so I get to, because my boyfriend had to leave early because he starts school again tomorrow, and he has school, like, at 9, so. And I work Tuesday night, and then I'm working Wednesday morning, and then I'm sleeping over at my best friend's house, and then I see him on Thursday, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it, so bye! Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I am very tired. I even feel like changing into normal clothes because I'm about to take a shower and take my makeup off because I did work today. I did run a few errands before work. I just went to the mall and picked up some stuff from MAC. So I am wearing a new lipstick today, which I can't wait to talk about because I love it so much. Um, but I will get into it after I tell you what's on my face. Um, so I prime my face with the Smashbox 24 hour primer water and the Laura Mercier foundation primer. I've been loving that combo as well, I guess, with the <coughs> excuse me. With the Laura Merc with the uh, Laura Mercier primer, it really helps like make my skin glowy still. Not as glowy as the other Smashbox, but whatever. I'm just gonna take it off anyway. I don't really care what my makeup looks like right now. As long as it still looks like normal, then I um, went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5 and the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the um, Backer Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone like I usually do. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the color Light and the um, MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose and then I set everything with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and then I 
went over them with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Then of course I went in with my Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream as my transition shade. And then I went in with the two Lime Crime Venus palettes today. I absolutely love these palettes. Honestly, if you don't think Lime Crime is worth the money or you are against them because of the whole controversy, honestly, you need to try these palettes. Um, maybe just, you know, try them through a friend the, from somebody who bought them that didn't like them. Seriously, these palettes are amazing. So I went in with this color Mustard. from. I used both palettes, so that's why I'm going to show you both of them. So I went in with this color on the crease today. Then I darkened up the crease more. That color is called Mustard. Then I darkened up the crease more with Creation. Then I went in with um, Mud on the outer corners. And then I went in with Fly on the lid. And then I went in with... Um, what is this color? Icon to darken up the outer corners more. And then I went over fly with Aura just to take down the green a little bit. It is so pretty. It's like my favorite color in this palette. Like I can, you can tell I've, I've dug into this shade a lot already. I just, I love these palettes. I think they're amazing. So that's what I used from these palettes. They don't have an actual like matte highlight in the palette. So I just went in with Makeup Geeks Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. Like my favorite highlight ever. So that's what I used from these two palettes, and I they're just incredible quality. Like, they blend so flawlessly, and they're so... These are the most pigmented shadows that I have that blend the easiest. Like, they literally blend like a dream. Like, they're amazing. I need to use the other shades in here. Maybe I just might take this palette with me tomorrow and, like, use some of the shades in here. I'm not really sure. I have to use this pigeon shade because it's so gorgeous. But let me not think about 10 million... <laughs> looks I'm going to do with this. So then I line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Then I prime my lashes with the Lancome Primer and then went over them with the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the, with the oh my god, I was going to say Urban Decay. I need to pick up another Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I've been missing it, but I've just been using the Bare Minerals as my um, replacement for it, but I really need to get the Urban Decay one because I miss it. Um... But yeah, so I just used that and the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose, and they set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I um, highlighted my inner corner with the color Aura from the Lime Crime Venus 1 palette, and then I went in with the MAC Ascended Play Gecko Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Um, then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter with the darker shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. And you know what's funny? Is that one of my coworkers actually complimented me on my contour today. And I was like, really? I was like, it looks like I barely contoured. But thanks. I told her what powder I use. And she's just like, I don't have the time, but your contour looks great. I was like, thanks. You know, that was really nice of her. So that was the only compliment I got today, but whatever. Um, I just like, you know, it's just nice when people notice, you know, your effort and stuff. Then I went in with the the Bombs blush in Hot Mama. I know it's kind of faded right now. I don't know how I feel about their blushes, honestly, because I feel like I have to build it up a lot, a lot and then it kind of disturbs your foundation sometimes, but whatever. I just feel like my, my cheek, um, not my foundation, but my cheek and highlight, um, kind of faded fast today. I don't know why. It looked good at work, but now just like on camera, it looks pretty faint, but whatever. Then I highlighted with Becca Shimmy's Skin Perfector Press and Champagne Pop. I mean, you can still see Champagne Pop, so. Then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I set, every, set everything with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled my, in my brows with a Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I filled in my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in O Snap. And then before work, I did go in with one MAC lipstick in Honey Love, but then I changed it after I bought a few MAC lipsticks today. And oh my god, I filled it in with the Cream Sheen MAC lipstick in the color Among the Fireflies. Do you see this? Do you see how friggin' gorgeous this lipstick is? Like, can we just... Can we just look at it? Like, it has, like, a dual chrome effect. Like, it reflects, like, purple. These are my favorite cream lipsticks I've ever tried in my life. And I've never, tr I don't think I've ever tried cream sheen lipsticks from MAC before. Oh, my God. My favorite new cream lipsticks. 
I don't know what it is about MAC. They just get their lipsticks right. Like, they're amazing. Like, this color is Gorgina. So I picked up this and two other lipsticks that I'm going to haul hopefully soon. I actually had to order two things on MAC.com. So that is the only makeup shopping I'm doing this month. I'm kind of very restricting. I'm restricting myself a lot from buying makeup and only buying it, like, once a month now rather than, like, three or four times a month because I have, you know, other expenses and stuff. So, yeah, um, but this is beautiful, like, so gorgeous. Like, I love these over my Too Faced lipsticks, over the Urban Decay ones, over any luster or cream sheen lipstick I have. And I've only worn this one, and I already know I'm going to be obsessed with Pillow Talk too because I'm going to wear that one tomorrow. This one and Pillow Talk are from the Fairy Whispers collection that they just came out with. And oh my god, the stuff from that collection is beautiful. I ordered the blush from it, and I ordered a blush palette, which I can't wait for. That's not part of the Fairy Whispers collection, but this is amazing. I can't believe I didn't have this before. It's just beautiful. Like, such a unique, beautiful color. So, yeah, obsessed. Like, obsessed with their lipsticks. They're amazing. And that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I am going to be getting ready to go to my best friend's house, but I just want to tell you what I wore to work. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the, not the Smashbox Primer Water, the regular Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the um, Makeup Forever Supplement Equalizer in the Nourishing Primer. Then I um, went in with the YSL Touche Clot Radiant Touch, YSL Touche Clot <laughs> foundation in the shade B10 beige and then the cover effects custom cover drops in N10 and the background shimmering skin perfector in moonstone then I concealed and highlighted with the bare minerals bare skin complete coverage serum concealer and the color light and the MAC weapon primer radiant rose and of course I set that with actually I set it with a new powder today I forgot to say that I got a new MAC powder today and I got the MAC mineralized skin finish natural in the shade medium and I actually really like it um sorry I'm just like putting my slippers on I saw that um Jacqueline Hill suggested it because um she said that you know same thing with Kathleen Lace they both said that the Laura Mercier powder is a little bit heavy to set their skin with and especially in the winter time I don't have to worry as much about my makeup wearing off as I do in the summertime so I figured to use something a little bit less heavy. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference to me. Like, my foundation is so weightless that I don't really feel it on my skin. And then I use a finishing spray anyway. But, yeah, I really like it. So we'll see how it is. And I, I like how it added more coverage. Um, then I um, went in with the <coughs> MAC... <laughs> sorry, 24-hour eyeshadow base. And then I went over that with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I really like how it... It adds a little bit of color that um, it really helped blend out the shadows really nicely. Then I went in with Makeup Geeks Beaches and Cream as my transition shade like always. And then I went in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette today. I went in with Salted Caramel on the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Milk Chocolate. Then I went in with Semi Sweet on the outer corners. And then I went in with, I believe, Marzipan on the lid. And then I went in with that matte white shadow called, what the heck is the color called? Coconut Cream. <laughs> So that's all I did on the eyes, and then I just went in with Makeup Geek Starry Eyed on the inner corners. Then I went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the top and bottom. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light. And the um, MAC Ripping Primer Radiant Rose, and I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Burning Powder. And I didn't have time to contour, so I went in with the Too Faced uh, Love Flush Blush in the shade Baby Love. And then I highlighted with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. Then I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I filled in my uh, filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty line, Lip Primer. Then I filled then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Oh Snap. And then I filled them in with the MAC Cream Sheen Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. Love these lipsticks so much. I'm so obsessed. Like, love them. And that's it. So I will tell you my second makeup look. I'm probably going to change it to something really colorful. So that's it. Bye.
Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my second makeup look today to go to my best friend's house. The lip might be a little bright, but it goes so well with this Maleficent shirt that um, I love it. So anyway, sorry, my one of my friends just texted me and uh, distracted me a little bit, but it does go perfectly with the shirt. So I figured just to wear a really bright lip, this is one of my favorite lip colors. So I'm just going to tell you it's on my eyes and my cheeks. So um, I primed again with the same stuff from before that I already said in my last makeup look. Um, but I did go in with Cupcake on the crease as a transition, excuse me, as a transition shade and then I darkened it up, sorry, more with um, uh, Mar Simply Marlena. These are all Makeup Geek shadows, by the way. Then I went in with, um, what the heck is the color called, Masquerade on the lid. But I, I think this is like one of the most disappointing colors from the foiled shadows. It just doesn't have that same reflecting quality. I mean, you, you can still see purple on my lid, but that's about it. It's just basically like a matte purple. Like, I feel like the color just gets lost from other colors. I don't really know, but I just didn't have time really to like mess with it anymore that I didn't really care. So, um... Then I went in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. I did go in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. Then I um, primed my lashes with the Lancome Primer and then went over them with the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Honestly, the MAC Giga Black Lash just slays on my bottom lashes and the top just always looks so limp. I don't understand what's up with my lashes lately, but I, I really couldn't go over it again. I like messed it up the... Um, first time so I was like forget it like whatever then I went in with the same concealer and the MAC prep and prime uh, under the eyes and then set that with the Laura Mercier Seek brightening powder then I lined my lower lash line with the ColourPop gel liner in Bee Sting um I really do think these are like my favorite eyeliners for the waterline just because they're so easy to work with and they don't like transfer off like when you try to fix them like the dual chrome like Urban Decay ones, like these just go right on the waterline. They're so easy to use. I love them. And then, of course, I went in with the MAC Extended Play Kick Black Lash on the bottom lashes, like I already said. Then I went in with the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadow in Fantasy on the inner corners. Like, see how reflective that is? And I like popping a little bit of green. Like, I try to use as much color that I have on the shirt as much in my eyes. So, I like doing that. Then I went in with the Makeup Geek blush in the shade Head Over Heels. And then I highlighted with Bobbi Brown's um, highlighter in Pink Glow. Do you see how reflective that is? I love it. Then I, um, what else did I do? I didn't contour just because I didn't feel like it. And I have to just get my shit together and leave. I just have to pack my stuff and then go. Um, then I, again... Prime my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I line them with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Slide On 24-Hour Pencil in Obsessed. And then I fill them in with Lime Crimes Velveteen and Pink Velvet. Love this color. I wish I could wear it more often this winter. But this is the second time I'm wearing it this winter. So that is it. Bye. Now I won't be able to make a... Um, I just want to see if it looks streaky. But honestly, it looks so good on camera. Like... This is my pink color. Like, I love it so much. It's, like, one of the best pinks out there. And that is it. So I will make a makeup update tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Um, I did just get back from my best friend's and my boyfriend's house. Um, I went to sleep over her house last night, so that's why I wore my Sleeping Beauty shirt. And then tonight I wore my Pinocchio shirt with uh, Pinocchio on the side here and then the Blue Fairy. I really got this because of the Blue Fairy because I love the Blue Fairy. I'm not really a huge fan of the movie Pinocchio. It's very freaky. Um, but anyway, um, and then after her house, I drove to my boyfriend's house. It was like from my town, Huntington, to Patchog in Long Island is like 40 minutes. And then Patchog to Farmingdale where he lives, it's like... um. 30 minutes and then from his house to mine it's like 15 minutes so I was driving a lot today I know that might not sound like too much but to me it's a lot because I'm pretty tired because we were out last night and we didn't go to sleep till like 5 and then 
I don't really get much sleep at her apartment, so I'm pretty tired. Um, but somehow I was running on some backup batteries today. So anyway, um, I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the um, Laura Mercier Foundation Primer on my nose. And then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5 and the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops in N10. I didn't use the Becca Shimming Skin Perfector today just to save some room in my um, bag because I didn't want to schlep the whole thing with me. Plus the thing is already like basically broken so I didn't want to bring it with me. And then the Kevin Aquan one's like mad messy so I don't just, I just end up not bringing an illuminator with me. I just obviously use an illuminating foundation. So just use that. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light and the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. I did have to apply my concealer today with my fingers because I was like, oh, let me just bring a um, foundation brush for, um, for my foundation. I'm like, I don't need the beauty blender. And then I was like, oh yeah, I need the beauty blender for concealer. But I didn't realize that until this morning. And I was like, fuck. So I had to blend out my concealer with my fingers. But it actually turned out a lot better than I thought. Then I set my face with the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural in the shade Medium. And then I, of course, um, primed my lids with the MAC... Um, 24 hour eyeshadow base, prep and prime eyeshadow base. And then I went over that with the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural in Medium. And then I went in with all Makeup Geek shadows today because it's just easier to bring my Z palettes with me to my um, best friend's house because um, it was a long night. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking about it. It was a pretty long night. Um, but yeah, um, it's just easier to bring those. Because um, it has like all the colors I need in there. So, and I wanted to use certain shadows today. So today, of course, I went in with Beaches and Cream as my transition shade. Then I went in with Creme Brulee on the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Cocoa Bear. And then I went in with Bitten on the outer corners. And then I went in with the foiled shadows in Pegasus. And, and then I went in with a little bit of Magic Act over that. Just to downplay the blue a little bit. And it looked really cool when I first applied it. Of course, like, the Makeup Geek shadows end up transferring, which I hate. Like, you can see how they transfer. But I tried to wipe away the excess. But it's a little bit annoying. But yeah, I went in with that, and then I went in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone like usual. Then I lined my top line with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. Then I primed my lashes with the Lancome Primer, and then went over them with the um, Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light. And the MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose, and then of course I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. <coughs> Then I went in with the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Besto, I believe, on the waterline, which it just like kind of fell out of the, um, the liner fell out of the push-up, like the, the stick. It's like a push-up stick, and there's like a stick of gel in there, and like a gel stick, and the gel stick fell out on the floor. I was so mad. I was like, oh, did it break off? So, um, I guess I have to save the rest of what was broken off because that's one of my favorite shades like I wear it with this like because it has a little bit of like a red hint to it so I really like it but I have to like be careful now and like keep it in like a plastic bag or something <sighs> then I went in with the MAC and started to play a black lash on the bottom lashes and then I highlighted the inner corners with the Makeup Geek Frilled Shadow in Magic Act then I um Went in with Narza's Blush in Lovejoy and then highlighted with Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood. Um, I didn't really feel like contouring again today. Again, just to save some room in my um, bag because the Marc Jacobs one is like huge and I don't want to schlep like a whole contour kit with me. So I was just like, fuck it. I'm just going to not contour again today. I'll do it tomorrow. Like I'm supposed to go to the city with my friends tomorrow. I'm so exhausted though that like I'm glad I'm home early tonight though so I can have some time and we're not going to the city until like 2 o'clock so it's not as bad as last time. Um, 
Then, of course, I set everything with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I actually just filled them in right now because I forgot to bring my brow pencil with me to my best friend's house, but whatever. Then I primed my lips, primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Poison. And then I filled them in with the Ofra Liquid Lipstick the collaboration with Kathleen Lights in the shade Havana Nights, which I actually really like this a lot. I've been wearing this since like 4, and it's almost 10, and it doesn't feel drying at all. And I reapplied it like once or twice, and it feels... It might not be the most long-lasting lipstick, but layering it and comfort-wise, it is really nice. So I really do think she did a great job on these. And that's it. Bye! Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did go to the city with one of my friends. This is probably going to be my last day to um, actually really do anything until like maybe Sunday night because we're supposed to get a really big blizzard tomorrow. If you guys don't know, there's a blizzard called Jonas heading up the east coast. And it's supposed to be a blizzard, but sometimes they like always over exceed their expectations for certain storms. But this is the first big snowstorm we're having this whole winter. It's been almost a month since winter has been going on and we haven't had a snowstorm yet. Um, so it's almost the end of January, so it's supposed to be our big one tomorrow. So I might not even wear makeup tomorrow. I'm not really sure what I'm doing tomorrow because I'm supposed to work at 12.30. Um, I'm probably most likely not seeing my boyfriend tomorrow. We usually see each other after work on Saturdays, but... That's probably not going to happen. Um, most likely I'll see him Sunday morning maybe. But it depends on even if we clear out the snow by tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to make it to work Sunday night. But seeing him I don't think it's going to be a possibility until like this week. But that's really okay honestly. I'm more concerned about my safety than I am getting out of the house right now. So anyway I... Did go to the city with my best friend today. I did do my standard go-to um, silver eye. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the um, Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Lumis Silk Foundation in the color 5. I'm just so into this foundation this month. It's been like my go-to. I love it. I always love it. Um, I'm hoping to try a new foundation at some point, but... I am, like I said, on a really strict no-buy. I only bought some MAC items recently, and I actually just got the Urban Decay blush palette. Um, I'm super excited to try this. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette. I wish it would have came today, like a little bit earlier. I mean, it came today, but um, it didn't come till like basically after I was done with my makeup because I had to make a 2 o'clock train. But now I'm not going to be able to try it until maybe Sunday night. So because I don't know if I'm not going to work or go out tomorrow, I'm probably not even going to wear makeup tomorrow. So um, that's going to be the first time I don't wear makeup in like a long time, but whatever. So, but I'm super excited to try this out. Hopefully I'll be able to haul it at some point. But yeah, the colors look beautiful. I am just waiting for a MAC package. But that's about it. Um... I did already buy most of the stuff that I want from MAC in the store, so yeah, so anyway, um, then I um, mixed that with the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops and the um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone, then I um, concealed and highlighted under my eyes with uh, concealed and highlighted certain parts of my face with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the color Light and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set that with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in um, Natural in Medium all over my face. And then I, sorry, I'm just trying to get some stuff together. Um, and then I primed my eyes with the MAC 24 Hour Eyeshadow Base. And then I went over that with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. And then I went in, of course, with the trusty Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I will show you the colors that I used in just a second. I'm just trying to get something together really quickly. Just give me one sec.
your girl is always broke. <laughs> but at least I don't have to spend money recently. Um, but yeah, after this, I'm not really going to be going out as much as I used to. I'm going to be seeing my boyfriend, and that's about it. My best friend's getting married soon, so in about seven months, and there's a lot to be done. So anyway, um, I went in with the Shade and Light palette, and I'm just going to tell you the colors I use, because I always use this now for my gray looks. It's just my go-to. I always know it's going to look good. And I think I blended my eyeshadows pretty well today, I would have to say myself. So I used um, the color Liberatus. I've been so obsessed with this color. Anytime I do color looks or anytime I use this palette, I go with this color all over my eyes. It's so beautiful. I feel like I've kind of made a little bit of a dent in it. I think I'm going to try and hit pan on it this year. I've been using this palette so much this winter. Um, but as you can see, I have made a pretty substantial dent in that shade. You might not be able to see it on camera. But I can see in person that I've hit a little bit of like a dent on the um, middle of it. But these shadows are so pigmented that you really don't need too much of it that it's so hard to hit pan on these. Um, then I went in with this color right here on the crease and that one is called Sa uh, Lazarus. And then I went in with Salios to darken up the crease more. And then I went in with this beautiful matte black shade called Shax on the outer corners so and then I went in with this color again on the brow bone and this one is called Liberatus again so that's what I use from the palette these are basically my go-to for colors when I wear silver looks this is like my favorite quad to use right now I just use this rather than the Urban Decay I just feel like because these are matte shadows and they're so pigmented that they're so easy to blend out I really do love this palette a lot and then on the lid I went in with ColourPop's um, Super Shock Shadow from the Where the Night Is collection by Kathleen Lights in the shade Midnight. Um, this is only the second time I've used it, but I wanted to use it today too, and I love it. Then I lined my um, top lash line with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. Then I primed my lashes with the Lancome Primer and then went over them with the Lancome Hypnose Drama Mascara. This is like the only mascara that's really giving me some length and volume to my lashes lately, so I really do love it. Um... Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light and the Matte Prep and Prime Radiant Rose. And then, of course, I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Writing Powder. Then I lined my waterline with the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Swerve, I believe. That's the right shade. It's the black matte black one. I'm pretty sure it's called Swerve. Um, then I highlighted the inner corners with Makeup Geeks Foiled Shadow in the shade High Wire. I do want to hit pan on that shade as well. I should have picked out my silver eye looks because I wear this look so much because I wear a lot of black in the winter. So um, this is one of my go-to looks for a lot of um, black looks. So I really need to start saying that I'm going to um, hit pan on like certain shades, but we'll see. We will see. I've already hit pan on two shades that I gold myself to hit pan on, so I'm doing pretty well. Um, then I um, went in with the MAC and Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I concealed and highlighted. I mean, then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter with the dark shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. Then I went in with Max Mineralize Blush in the shade Warm Soul. And then I highlighted with Anastasia's Beverly Hills Illuminator in the shade Starlight. Then, of course, I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. I know I, f I feel like it kind of faded a little bit over here, but whatever. Then I um, filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I prime. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I prime my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. And then I line them with the ColourPop Lip Beauty Pencil in the shade Lumiere. And then today I didn't really want to do that bold like purple lip again because I've been using that Lime Crime Beat It shade a lot. But I wanted something a little bit softer and a little bit less drying. And I, I liked that ColourPop Glitter shade too, but that one's a little bit too purple. So I decided to go in with Lime Crime's Velveteen in the shade Faded. I forgot how much I love this color. Like, it's so beautiful and it's super comfortable to wear. I just reapplied another layer of this right now so I could show you how it was It was a little, looking a little bit uneven because when I reapplied it at the bar we were at, I couldn't see as well. So I reapplied it again for this. And when it dried, it really doesn't feel drying at all right now. And I've been wearing this for about eight hours. So 
that's saying something about Lime Crime Velveteens. Like, this formula for this, like, that Penny Lane trio were, was the best. And, yeah, I love this. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. So, yeah, bye. Be safe tomorrow, please. Okay, so, hi. So, I just wanted to tell you really quickly about my very minimal makeup look today. Um, I was honestly just going to throw on um, mascara and just call it a day. Um, but I did just decide to conceal just a little bit. Um, as you guys know, today is a stay-in day for me because there is a blizzard going on outside. So I did enough this week that I'm actually really happy that I'm doing nothing because um, I would have worked today, but actually my restaurant closed today because they think that the weather is going to be too bad to actually be open. So that was really awesome. I called like at 9 this morning and my manager answered and said, we're not even open today. Don't even worry about it. Um, so I just, um, you know, I actually did get up at that point and then just had breakfast with my family because we don't know if we're going to lose power or not. So we want to make sure that we make as much food as we can. Hopefully it doesn't end up like Sandy, but this isn't a hurricane. It's a blizzard, but we're really hoping that we don't lose power. It's 12 o'clock right now. We still have power. It's supposed to snow for most of the day, though, into, into the night. Um, I am supposed to work tomorrow afternoon, but yeah, that's not what this video is about. I was thinking about making an update video, but whatever. I was also thinking about filming today, but that requires me to throw on some eyeshadow, but we'll see. So I just did something really simple. Um... I did decide to conceal, so I just used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Fair. I forgot how much I love this concealer. It really is nice for brightening the face, so that's all I wanted to do, which is brighten, not really conceal too much. So I just threw it under my eyes, I'm on my eyes, and around my nose and mouth, and just a little bit on my cheeks. And that was it, and just a little bit on the forehead. That's the only, like, real face makeup I have on. And then I just set the parts that I concealed. I just um, set the under eye with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder like I always do and then I just use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural and Medium to set the other parts. And then I just um, went in with some mascara. Of course I just went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then I just went in with some blush um, just to um, try out the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Palette because I just really wanted to try out some of the blushes in there, I just used two of them and mixed them together. I just went in with Lo-Fi and Hush and put them on the cheeks. They're super pigmented, so I just went in very lightly with them. And then um, I wasn't going to fill in my brows because this was honestly all I was going to do. Um, but then I just decided to... Um, I started to fill out my brows, so I was like, great, now I have to fill out the whole thing. So I just filled them in with the Chanel Brow Pencil and that set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then for the lips, I just decided to very lightly throw on ColourPop's Lippy Stick and Cookie. And I just like patted it out so it was very like light. So it's kind of like a little bit glossy but just has like a little bit of color. And that was it. I honestly wasn't even going to wear a lip product but I'm probably honestly just going to wipe it off right now and just keep on what I have on my face. But I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep this on because... I think I'm just going to keep on the eye makeup and that's in and just like take everything else off. But I think I'm just going to take the lipstick off right now because I don't need it. Um, I would have seen my boyfriend today if it wasn't a blizzard, but there's no way. I'm probably not even going to leave the house today, so which is totally fine with me. The only thing is that I really need to make up for not working today by trying to work other days of the week because I have other stuff to do this week that I need money for. So, um, but that's... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully this doesn't look like a bag under my eye, but it just looks like there's a line here and then no line here, but whatever. That's just a natural line on my face. I can't really help it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just a little bit more prominent on this side today. Um, but yeah, everybody stay safe, please. If you're on the East Coast, please stay safe. Um, but I'm sure nobody's going to watch this clip of this video, but... I just do these for fun, and I was thinking about shooting today. I didn't even highlight today. Oh, yeah, and also after I was done, I felt like I just need a little bit of spritz of something, so I just sprayed the Smashbox Primer Water because I don't need anything really to, like, hold my makeup today. So I just threw that on just to hydrate a little bit and just to get rid of a little bit of the itchiness. 
oops, and that was it. I didn't highlight though because I was like, I don't need my highlight to be on fleek when I'm home doing nothing. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about the eyeshadow and lipstick I decided to to um, throw on because um, I decided to record a MAC lip swatching video. So I just finished recording it. So I just wanted to share what I threw on my eyes and my lips. So um, for the eyes, I went in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani eyeshadow palette because I wanted to use it with the Urban Decay blush palette, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette. So I just went in with the color Stark on the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Anaheim. Then I darkened it up even more with Zone. And then I went in with um, Skimp and Bathwater on the lid. And then I went in with Blonde on the brow bone. Then I just highlighted the inner corners with Makeup Geek Starry Eyed. All the other stuff was the same that I used from before. Then I just re-highlighted with the blush again with Hush and Lo-Fi. And then I just used that really subtle highlight from the um, palette called Angel. So I used that from the Gwen Stefani palette as well. And then for the lips, I just used Whirl because that was the last lipstick I was wearing. But then I just went over it with Max Velvet Teddy. But now I'm just going to take it off because I don't need to wear my makeup anymore. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did get to make it to work today. Um, I haven't worked since like Wednesday afternoon, so I needed to work today. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer and went in with the Nourishing Primer on my nose. I was recording this, but then I accidentally pressed the wrong button, so I had to re-record the foundation again but whatever um then i went in with the ysl touche clap b10 beige foundation in the color beige like i just said the cover effects custom cover drops in n10 and the Becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone and mixed them all together then i went in with the bare minerals bare skin complete cover serum concealer in the color light and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set everything with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I primed my eyes with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and then went over them with the MAC Powder again. And then I went in with the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom Palette today. I just feel like I haven't been able to use this palette enough so I really wanted to use it again today. Um, I was intending on using it yesterday but then of course the snowstorm happened so I used it today. And I used a lot of shades from the palette today, so I don't remember all the shade names. So that's the only reason why I'm holding it. So as you can see, I have dug myself into most of the shades here. Um, it looks like I made a pretty substantial dent in Flower Child already, but I did use this as a transition shade. Then I darkened it up more with um, Smarty Pants. Then I used um, Jet Setter on the crease to darken it up more. And then I used um, Smoke Show on the outer corners. I decided to go with a little bit more of like a cool toned look. And then I went in with this color Rocker on the lid. That's the only color I hadn't used on my lid yet. But I pretty much have used every single color in this palette now because I used these two colors today. I hadn't been able to use those yet. But I did use all of these other shades before. And it's a pretty solid palette. I really do like it a lot. Um, and then I went in with Charmer on the brow bone like I usually do. And then, um, yeah, that's it for the palette. And then I went in with one of the colors on the inner corner, but I'll tell you that in a second. Then I um, line my eyes with the Cat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Then I prime my lashes with the Lancome Primer and then went over them with the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. I really do need to pick up a new full-size mascara soon since I'm running. I think my both of my mascaras are dried out right now and I only am using samples. So I'm probably just going to go pick up a Benefit Roller Lash at some point because I need at least one mascara. Like I don't really have any right now. So I've just been using the Smashbox Full Exposure and the Lancome like switching off between them. I do have an Urban Decay Perversion somewhere but I'm trying to find it. But hopefully I'll be able to use that soon as well because then I'll just use that. Um, then I went in with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer and Light under my eyes and then the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. Then of course I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I went in with the MAC Santa Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes and then I went in with the color Funny Girl from the palette on my inner corners. And that's what I used from the palette today but overall I really do like this palette a lot. 
Then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer filter with the darker shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette today. I am going to haul that at some point. But I used the colors, um, what was it? Angel and OC as a blush. And then I used, um, actually maybe not Angel, maybe it was a different color. Oh crap, I forgot what the color's name is. I think it was Angel. Angel and OC. Yeah, I think those were the right ones. Let me just double check. Because I'm only using like the neutral shades in there right now. Um, hopefully it'll show me in the picture on the website. Yeah, I used, um, did I use Angel? I used Angel and OC as blushes today because I wanted to just give a little bit more pigmentation so I used OC as a blush too. They're really nice, really light colors, really neutral. I really like them a lot. Then I highlighted with Becca Shimming Skin Perfector pressed in Opal. Just when I don't wear makeup one day, I end up missing my favorite highlight so I wanted to use Opal because it's my favorite one. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I set everything with the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil. And then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. And then lined them with the Urban Decay Glide On Sign On 24 Hour Pencil in Liar. And then I went in with a new lipstick today because I went in with a new blush palette today. And I went in with the newest eyeshadow palette I had. So I wanted to go in with a new lipstick that I haven't worn yet either. So yeah, I guess I did go in with a lot of new products today. Um, I went in with the MAC Matte Lipstick in the shade Stone. And then I went over it with MAC's Matte Lipstick in the shade Velvet Teddy. And I just love the combination. But this shade Stone is so gorgeous. If you didn't see my MAC Lipstick Collection video, go check it out if you want to see live swatches of all of my MAC lipsticks. Um, but you guys know how much I love MAC lipsticks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So bye!